Good morning and welcome to a day. What is this? Thursday, May 12th. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick's driving me to Philly Airport. I am headed to Houston to drive a 1970 something British Leyland something from Houston to San Antonio. Helping out uh, my friends Monica Harrison and David McNett. Uh, you know them as the people who uh, hooked us up with Harris Hill Raceway. And uh, they're moving and they said come on down and let's drive a car across, uh, across Texas with no top in May where the weather will be, I don't know. So this is what this uh, adventure adventure is about. I'm doing this solo. Nick's just driving me to the airport because uh, Philly did away with economy parking. So now you got to park in the main parking garage at whatever they say a day, or pay even more now for the parking spot or something like that. So for the rest of 2022, I don't know where we're going to be traveling to by plane. I have this feeling that we're going to just use Harrisburg International, Harrisburg International, or maybe Lehigh Valley, and just see what direct flights go directly from either Harrisburg or Allentown, and let's just go there, yeah. wherever that is. Yeah, these resistance. <laughs> Orlando Sanford Airport or something like that. <laughs> but, and by that I mean a major carrier like one of the main three, American, United, or Delta. No low-cost carriers for these guys. Anyway, see you from the sky. It's 6.30 a.m. here in Houston, and we're driving from Houston to San Antonio in this 1960 Frog Eye Sprite. Is there a specific name for this? Is it called the Frog Eye? Or is well, Bug Eye or Frog Eye are... are Unofficial, so it'd just be the Sprite Mark One. Okay. Manufacturer is Austin Healy. Yep. Yep. Um, they tell me uh, Nugget and Monica, you remember them from Harris Hill. Uh, thank you so much, and they invited me out for this adventure. Uh, if we we're taking the Cayenne, this would make it to San Antonio in like four and a half hours. This is going to make it there in eight hours. Uh, <laughs> it's going to. It's. Uh, I hear it likes fifty miles an hour. That's that's where it likes to cruise. Um, and we're going to see if we make it. Um, everything works. Here we go. So the first thing is to get out of Houston. It is, uh, just after seven. Windshield's a little dusty. That'll be my thing. My OCD will immediately want to wash this at the first fill up. Um, we got an ampere gauge that says we're discharging, but we're not. We've got a water temp gauge that uh, doesn't register anything until we get past 160, and then it turns on. Uh, this is accurate, tack is accurate, and the speedometer is kind of whatever. And our fuel gauge if it says we have a quarter of a tank left, that means we're empty, right? Yes. All right. Send it. Okay, we're going on the highway. these tunnels Pittsburgh would like a word with you update on our temperature here uh, we are at one about 180 right now yeah about 180 uh, stop and go traffic trying to get out of Houston uh, Monica says 190 will be fine and the oh no mode is 212 uh, so according to her 
uh, will, uh, they've noticed that when this thing has plenty of airflow, it'll hover right at 160 because it's a 160 degree thermostat. Okay, now it's time to watch this thing climb. We were cruising in the shade where it was uh, 170 and now, oh, we have a green light. Okay, no problem. And also that uh, sound you hear behind us, uh, that's the noisy fuel pump. It's noisy, but it's been making that noise consistently for the past, you know, couple months. So, and the car hasn't died. Although in our support car behind us, the, uh, uh, the Porsche Cayenne, uh, we do have a spare fuel pump just in case. We found that whatever drinks we put here in the uh, transmission tunnel and drive shaft tunnel get very warm. Uh, Monica has a nice thermos there. I still have a uh, West Side Collector car storage uh, water bottle, which isn't insulated, so it's going over here. It's kind of like the door pocket. I hope you can hear me over the wind. If not, it's gonna be, the entire trip is just gonna be my mouth right here. Uh, the calm air is kind of like down here around the gear shift. The, wi the windscreen does work just uh, and now we're on a larger road. What road is this? Six, Highway Six. Welcome to Texas 1093. According to Monica, we're gonna be on this road for a while. It feels like we're out of the city now, but Houston's so big, I don't know if this is deceiving or not. I also like how there's no real order to the buttons and switches on a Frog Eye Sprite or Mark I. It's just like a shotgun blast of just knobs and none of them are labeled. I mean, this says S. Well, that's starter. That's yep. right. You pull that and the starter starts. This says whatever. That W for whatever. One. Windshield washer. Oh, that's windshield washer. Is it? Not is it? washer, just windshield wipers. Oh, oh that's your wipers. I think. Yep, that's wipers. This this doesn't do anything. Is that the old choke? I think so. Okay. Uh, and push. Is it just like a manual like squirter for your washers? No clue. That doesn't do anything. Okay. Update. Uh, Monica said this may have been the heater fan at one point, but now it's the choke. Although it does say lock on. Lock the blower on for the oh heater. right, lock the blower on. And then we have the silver button that doesn't do it. Or is this a cigarette lighter? Might be, I don't know. Yep. So you got that. And there was, I guess, a a head unit that was maybe just drilled in here or something. I don't know where they would have put the speakers. They probably would be to have oh, in the back. Yep. Way back. Yep. Under all that. trying to find out what's the difference between a regular F-150 and an F-150 Texas edition. The only thing that looks out of place out of that crew cab truck is a painted bumper and maybe the wheels. The wheels kind of look like a... like the wheels from a... an ST, kind of but they're six lug. Are all F-150 six lug wheels? I'm thinking too much about this. What if the only thing that's different about a Texas edition F-150 is that it says Texas edition on it? Does it say Texas edition like in embroidery, on the upholstery? Does having stuff named after Texas matter so much in Texas that people are willing to pay more Texas dollars to have the Texas appear on their trucks? And are you considered unpatriotic if you drive a regular F-150 and not a Texas edition F-150? Bye.
Y Texas Edition F-150. We just passed uh, 99, the outermost beltway of Houston, so I guess we're kind of out of it now. But we have an interesting development here with the, with the Sprite. Uh, the ampere gauge now says we're making power, which either means this is working now or we're making a ton of power. We are now stopped at a very long traffic light and we're watching the in-car entertainment here. Uh, we're approaching 190 degrees and uh, this is one of those deals where it's a highway but it also has traffic lights on it. I'm getting Jersey vibes here. Jersey loves traffic lights on, on state highways. And this is like the type of driving that builds heat really fast because we're not, it's stop, go, stop, go. So you got to rev up, rev down again. Yeah, there we jumped another three degrees. And, you know, you, you roll, you're, yeah, you, we're moving, but we're not moving fast enough to move air over the engine. And that little mechanical fan, I mean, this little shroud, it's just uh, Heartedly blowing a hot breeze or drawing a hot breeze over the radiator. Uh, we didn't make the light. We are about at 195 right now. I'm also looking at the oil pressure gauge. The last thing you want to see is temperature rise so high and then oil pressure start to drop. So We've hit 200 degrees and cleared this traffic light. I hope there aren't any more for a while. Let's see how long it takes. It is 8.33 a.m. How long it takes to get back to the reasonable temperature. We are back to 180 degrees and that took two minutes literally just two minutes to get back to a comfortable temperature but now it's time for a red light again oh, welcome to our first fuel stop and my first time at a bucky's all right so this is my bucky's sausage bagel thing uh the sprite has been doing fine uh the second you get it rolling it's happy it's at like a 165 water temperature uh rolling slowly uh you know, 185 is fine. Uh, it's only the, the stops that are kind of weird. Also, you see we have a chalk down here because the emergency brake doesn't really work. So, so that's our that's our parking brake when we put it somewhere. Um, I've been wearing earplugs this entire time. The windscreen up here doesn't really, it, it keeps it out of your eyes and that's pretty much it. Uh, my eyeglasses just move around on my face uh, while we're driving. Uh, this Bucky's doesn't have anything to wash the windshield with. There's no squeegees, there's no nothing, so uh, it's, it's just going to stay dusty and dirty and full of bugs until we find a next, until we find another place to wipe the windshield off. The seats themselves uh, have negative lumbar. I've been trying to find a way to get comfortable. You don't. Uh, just pay attention. Uh, that little door handle, handle, oh shit handle right there. I've been kind of holding on to that with my left hand and holding on to the outside of the door with my right. And I can kind of get into a comfortable position. Uh, I'll be driving it soon. Uh, I'm driving now. Uh, I have to drive with my shoes off because my feet are too wide again. It's another car that I can't drive with shoes on. Uh, I'm, right in, I'm wearing the steering wheel and uh, there really is no shelter from the wind in here. I hope you can hear this. If not, I have to subtitle it or just dub over it. We know we're going to be going for fuel about every 100 miles or so-ish. Uh, this thing is averaging about 30 miles a gallon. It's not too bad. Uh, it feels like it definitely can... Oh, look at that wheel. Let go of the wheel, it vibrates. Um, it feels like it wants to go faster. Uh, we're going an indicated 60, but we're getting close to the top of the rev range here. 
Uh, other than that, I mean, of course, 60 feels like I'm doing 80, so I'm fine with that. Right now, I have my face right up against the windshield because we're driving through a cloud of bugs. And this is the only place where they're not going to whip around the windshield and hit me in the eyes. Welcome to the Shriner Brewery. And down, down. Time to survey this bug damage. Oh, it's pretty splattered all the way across. I had like this little window, like, uh, like right here for me to look through and hide under as it became time to ride. And oh yeah, we're gonna try to tape up this bit of fabric down here that's kind of like, uh, that's really been my sort of heat shield <laughs> because it's hard. You can't really rest your foot, your leg against the, uh, the, the back of really the firewall there because it gets too hot. And so, yeah, so don't mess with Tex ass. Don't mess with Tex ass. Don't mess with Tex ass. Don't mess with. I can't stop saying that. Wrong city, even the wrong region. I can't stop. Dude, it's like paste. Well, we stopped and then we did the brewery tour. So all these bugs had a time to just bake into the glass of this thing. And neither of us brought like Invisiglass or anything like that. It was held the bottle in my hand last night. I was like, ah, we won't need that. Windshield's yeah. so tiny. Yeah, how much? We've yeah. got 40 minutes to the big Bucky's. We'll be able to get stuff in Bucky's. That's true. Like, this is like Pennsylvania level. Like, Pennsylvania gets really, really buggy in August and all the gnats and everything. You ride a motorcycle there, and it's just, you get just peppered with it. It's not just your visor, it's everything. It's the, it's your jacket, it's your pant legs, everything that faces forward is the covers of gnats. But Texas, it's just like every time we went under like a, like a bridge <laughs> or got into an area where we could feel cold air, mm -hmm. that meant bugs. Yep. And it was just like a black swarm of these things. Nowhere near Dallas, Shine or whatever. Furries. Don't mess with Tex ass. It was right at Min, so. Oh, it. At, at minimum oil, so it was within tolerances but it was at the bottom end so I put okay in, i put in a little bit is this like stuff we consumed on the way it's been so long since we checked the oil so oh, okay all know. right probably not all right so we killed this many bugs got a lantern fly that's pretty good and blasted there and these are all the bugs that got through the sprites little decorative grill there and into the nice aluminum radiator we got in the front um shoe for scale how big this radiator is which honestly for a 1.2 liter engine 1.2 ish uh, yeah. i'm drunk i'm not driving i'll be riding for the next bit uh we got a heater that doesn't work and you know when you look at this little engine how big it is take my shoe off again that's how big the engine is and that's been propelling us at 60 miles an hour. So not too bad. I'm often thinking like, what is the relationship between this and Tony Airlines' Honda Beat? Because that thing will do 60, 65. I think he's gear limited or there may be a, like, a, like a limiter to like 80. I think this thing will gear out at 88, they were saying. But I don't think the engine has the power to get it there. Um, when we've been driving this, or at least when I've been driving it, I've been keeping it around 5,000 RPM there. And, uh, 
seems to be just fine with doing that on the highway and, and, and can and can pull the gentle hills so far on the way to San Antonio at 60 miles an hour, so it's not a huge deal. Ass. Don't mess with Tex ass. Don't mess with Tex ass. Don't mess with Tex ass. Circle K. Don't mess with Tex ass. Exit car wash. Don't mess with Tex ass. Mama's kitchen. Don't mess with Tex ass. Lifted Dodge truck. Don't mess with Tex ass. Big empty green field. Don't mess with Tex ass. Unidentified weird, I don't know, industrial substation. Don't mess with Tex ass. GVEC delivering more. Don't mess with Tex ass. Obey warning sign state law. Don't mess with Tex ass. Welcome to 1 p.m. Uh, middle of Texas. I saw a sign Luling. before that. Where are we? Luling, Texas. Luling. I saw a sign that says Austin is 60 miles from here. That's about right. Yeah, Harris Hill Road is straight up this road. Hell yeah. So, we've been uh, cruising along, and now that we're in the middle of the day, water temperature is reading about 180, 185 in the middle of the day, so... I, don't know about I had some detonation as we were coming up that hill. It's the first time I've felt it. I may put some octane boost in, okay. even though we've been putting premium fuel in. All right, sounds like a good deal. We're going to the big Bucky's right here. There's already a line. And here goes a guy with a lifted Jeep, and here he goes, don't mess with Tex ass. I gotta go in and pee like none other. This is my Bucky's lunch. It's a loaf of sausage, I don't know what. Oh, it's a hot dog. It's a hot dog in a closed bun. So much with Texas. Seriously, what is up with Texas not having those little squeegees at every single gas pump? This is the second Bucky's we've been to. Mm. And no place to wipe off your windshield. Uh, this is a superior machine. Porsche Cayenne diesel. The Sprite is over there. Mm. Now I will take control of this. Oh, it's on a wide angle. You can't see the Sprite, but it's way up ahead. And I'm comfortable in here. We've had our first issue. Not sure what it is, uh, but Nugget pulled over. There's something going on with the Sprite. And we'll figure out what it is. Train. So. We're good. His phone is overheated and can no longer be used for routing. Oh, interesting. Yep. Okay, that solves that. So I'm all by myself in the Porsche now. Uh, Monica and Nugget are up there in the Triumph. Sprite. Raw guy. Uh, since his phone is overheated, uh, Monica is going to go with him, and they're going to navigate to their house. So even with a 8.1 compression, it's still knocking. Or if it gets up over 190 on the temp gauge, and, or going up a hill, it just yeah. stutters and backfires. So it still needs the octane boost. Yep. Okay. We could probably tune it out in the carbs. I think the carbs are tuned for colder weather. Yeah. But I think this will get us there. All right. Okay, so the Sprite is getting very hot at every single traffic light. Um, I feel it'd be best if I ride in here and we only have one person ride drive the Sprite to like eliminate as much possible load that it has, as well as uh, they're turning it off now at every single traffic light. 
or just turning the car off. So we have about, I believe, an hour to go uh, till this is all over. And uh, it is now three in the afternoon in uh, South Texas. Right on that little side road. Yep. Okay. Anything else we need? No. All right. Do you want to ride here or there? Uh, I think it's best if we keep it as light as possible. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. The least amount of load on the engine. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I guess we'll be behind you. Okay. I'm not greedy, it's just Porsche has air conditioned <laughs> ventilated seats. Mm -hmm. And also I figure that if I rode in the Sprite and I wasn't driving, there'd be nothing for me to do but just sit there and worry. <laughs> How you feeling? That is hard work. <laughs> so what temperatures did we see? I was trying to keep it at 180 and below when moving and I had a choice. Mm. Um, stopping, it would get up to 190, but I was able to keep it not much over 190 by turning it off pretty regularly. Nice. Um, so going, we saw some puffs of black smoke coming out the back. Yep. So it's either running rich or something else. Um, there were, was it after a downhill when you saw this? It was those? going up the hill when you okay. run the power. Okay. Yeah, then that was running rich. Yeah. Um, going downhills, I would turn it off. Uh. And airflow. Key drop. Would, yeah, it would drop 10 degrees. Uh. Yeah. So going downhill, turn it off. Pop the clutch in fourth, it starts itself. Nice. But when you saw it go boom at the bottom of the hills, Got that it. was. Nice. So pleased with this little guy. Yeah. It got here. <laughs> right? It got here. Didn't break. Yeah.